Hello there, it's Richard from Silent Peak, and today we're going to have a quick look at Sharpen AI. We begin this tour by browsing our photo, and today I'm going to select this picture of a Kia. A Kia is a, a native alpine parrot to New Zealand. And there we go. So as we've loaded that image, Sharpen AI has automatically applied one of its AI sharpening modeling filters. In this case, it's on automatic mode and it's chosen standard. And as I hope you can see from there, we're already looking at quite an improvement. If we go up here, we can click on the original, view the original image and the sharpened one. We also have the ability to do the split view and we can sort of slide between the original image and the sharpened version. Or alternatively, you can do the comparative view where we get to see both parrots simultaneously. And we can sort of scroll around and make sure that our parrot is sharp enough in all the places it's supposed to be sharp. Now at this point, you know, we could call it a day and export this image as a new sharper version of this photo. Uh, but let's say you are dissatisfied with the results and you think you can do better. What we can do is we head over here and we can manually select our own sharpening model. Now, there are 10 different sharpening models in Sharpen AI, uh, mostly categorized in four ways. So we have the standard one, which stands alone. We have three variants of motion blur, three variants of out of focus, and three variants of too soft. Now, as we click on one AI model for, to the other, you're gonna notice on this video that there is a decent amount of lag, probably between sort of five and 10 seconds. Given what it's doing, I don't think it's a big deal. But what I like to do, now that's actually looking quite nice now, isn't it? Motion blur normal. But if instead of sort of walking your way through each of the 10 different AI models, the best way I find is to go to the comparison view. Now what you can do is you can view four different models at once. And how I like to set it up is that I view one of the each major categories and find out which major category I like. So for instance, we've got standard here, we've got motion blur. So what I can do is I can change this to the out of focus and I can change this one to too soft. So at this point I can observe all four major categories of model at the same time to find out which one I like the look of. Now standard looks good, but I still really like the motion blur, very noisy. So now I'm gonna try the two other variants of motion blur. And there we go. And I actually really quite like motion blur, very blurry. I think that looks great. So having selected that, I can just click on that. And then when I return to the single view, motion blur, very blurry. My chosen AI model will be the one that I see. And there we go. Let's just remind ourselves the original image. Yuck. And our sharpened image. And again, who doesn't like doing this? Now that's looking absolutely fantastic. And at that point, we could call it a day. And to be honest, I probably would. But it wouldn't be much of a demo if I didn't show you these model parameters. Now, each of the different models have their own parameters. But in this case, we've got two. We can remove blur, which is just kind of an inverse way of saying sharpening, and noise suppression. So by removing the blur, I'll just, there we go. Uh, basically, that's going to make our image less sharp, which... Sometimes it's a good thing. Sometimes Sharpen AI does overdo things or underdo things. But I think the automatic mode did a pretty good job. And then we've got noise suppression. Now, there ain't an awful lot of noise on this photo. Uh, but by all means, have a play until you like what you see.
Now, the final trick that Sharpen AI has is the selection tool. So unlike the other Topaz products, we can manually drill in and do localized sharpening. For example, let's say I wanted just to apply sharpening to the beak, which I don't, but just say I did. Now, Sharpen AI does have some AI smarts here too. Uh, it can be used to automatically detect the subject, which in this case, it will identify the Kia from its background and isolate it so we can automatically adjust the Kia whilst leaving the background alone. But we can also paint on um, our very own adjustments as well. So for example, if I click on refine here, and what I can do is I can actually brush on wherever I want to apply my localized sharpening. I'm doing a very rushed, terrible job of this. This is kind of a bit boring to watch. It's boring to do as well. But anyway, you can do that if you want to. I don't want to do that. I was very happy with the standard results. And there we go. So that is my Kia, now sharper than ever. And this was Sharpen AI. And I'm Richard from Silent Peak. Now, if you like what you see, the great news is you can try Sharpen AI for free uh, and run your own images through and see how you like the results. Uh, the free trial is infinite in length. However, you will export your images with a watermark until you cough up and pay to Paz Labs their money. If you'd like to see more of Topaz Sharpen AI, um, and more samples that I've run through it. Drop by my review, link is in the description below. But I wish you all the best in your day. Hope that was useful. Goodbye.